Welcome back to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. Today we are talking FHA and VA loans. Basically, we're covering all government guaranteed loans. And reasons for those is they are easier to qualify for than normal mortgages. A normal mortgage is what the, what the true word is, is a conventional mortgage. So I, I will reference conventional mortgages. That's the mortgage that it's just when you think of a mortgage, that's kind of what you think of, especially, you know, older folks and, and things like that. They, you know, it was used to be the 20 percent down, um, you know, you'd buy a house and it was basically the only mortgage around for a long time. And then the government stepped in and they wanted to kind of ease up the system. Now, when I say ease, I'm not talking about the subprime loans of the past that really, you know, I, I'll say crashed our whole world. Uh, 10 years ago. And I won't get into that today, but um, there was they, they were created with good intent and then they just got abused by everybody, by Wall Street, by the mortgage companies, by consumers, the whole ball of wax. So we were, we were all to blame in that facet of things. Some people might disagree. Um, I lived it. I, I, you know, I am a mortgage broker. I have been for 30 years. Um, I lived it. That's, and it's all I've ever done. So let's go back to FHAs. We're talking about how to qualify. And one of the biggest things here is we went over your debt ratio So the, in the last segment. You might have been turned down. So we're, what I'm trying to do, let's, let's back up a second. What I'm trying to do is if you've been denied, you might not have been denied, but I'm just saying if you've been denied for any of these reasons, credit score or debt ratio, these are, I'm going over the true guidelines of FHA. I'm not going over the guidelines of that lender that you called. You might have called that lender who turned you down. There might be a thousand other places that can do your loan, just not that particular place. That's why don't give up hope. Check around. You know, reference some of my information. Please give me a call, and I give you all that information at the end. So um, the debt ratio, you can go up to, you might have been turned down for a debt ratio. They said we do not exceed 50%. FHA will accept loans up to 57%. Not everyone. What we do is we run your loan through a website. So I gather all your information. I pull your credit. I make sure all that data is accurate. And then I run your loan through a and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. I won't get too detailed because I don't want to lose you. Um, we run it through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, one of their websites. And it's an automated system. It reads your data and then it says you're approved or not. It will approve loans up to 57% debt ratios. Okay? So let's go over. Again, your debt ratio is your monthly expenses. So the items on your credit report, not your home, um, your car insurance, your cell phone bill, your gas bill, your water bill, things like that. It has to be on your credit report. Okay? That divided by your income, your gross income, income before taxes. So let's now talk about what the what income can qualify. Okay? So there this is another area where there's a lot of misinformation. I will get calls and the person will say, you know, I have a really hard situation. I already talked to another place and they can't do it because they said I have to be on my job for two years. You don't have to be on that job for two years. There's multiple reasons why you do not have to be, or I won't say why that you can get around the t- the two year trigger. There is truly not a really a tr- two year trigger, only for part time jobs. So to use part time income, let's start with that because we're at that section right now, the two year piece. To use a part time jobs income, you have to be there two years. Okay, what what the banks want to do is they want to take an average. What are you working? So some weeks you might work eight hours, some weeks twenty, some work weeks you know, 30, uh, or so forth. So then they'll take a two-year average of what that income is. It needs to be pretty much steady or increasing. It can't be, you know, last year you made 15000 this year you're making six. You know, that that's difficult. But it, on, a, on a part-time job, you can use two years or you need to be on that job, that particular job for two years, okay? Now, your full-time job, this is a whole other basket. Full-time jobs, you can be on your job for a month. So here's, here's an analogy behind that part of it. You just graduated from school. Um, you went to ISU and received a nursing degree. 
God bless you. So now you just got a job with Mount Sinai Hospital, and you started a month ago, and you're salaried, and you're making $70,000 a year. We can do that. Well, if your credit and everything else fits in. What we would get is your school transcripts to show that you just got out of school or just graduated school, and we will get your employment records and pay stubs to validate that income. You can use that income even though you might have been there for a month, okay? Other t- areas, let's say you were at a job for five years and you were a mechanic, and now you left there and a new mechanic position became open at another place with more income. So you left that five-year job making 40000 a year, and now you went over to ABC Mechanic Place and you're making $55,000. And it's basically salaried or the hourly works out to that. You can use that new job, even if it's been a month or two months or three months, you can use that job's income. So that's full-time and part-time income. Okay. So the next thing is social security, pensions, areas of, in, in those areas, you can use that income. Even if you just got granted social security benefits a month ago, you can still use that income. A lot of times people think, well, I can't, I'm only, I only receive a pension. There's no way I'm going to qualify. You, you might be surprised. Um, same thing with social security. So you can qualify with social security and pension income. Also, if, if it's a two unit, a three unit or a four unit, you can qualify with rental income and we will do take your tax returns and we'll figure out your net rentals and kind of add that into the equation. So, Let's go next to what type of properties can you buy or finance with an FHA loan, okay? FHA and conventional, you can finance condos, townhouses, what they call PUDs, one unit through four units. So a single family, a two unit, a three unit, and a four unit. There might be other things out there that I might just be think, not thinking about, but you a commercial loan, which you cannot finance through these programs, is anything that has a, a commercial substance, meaning you have a, you're have you trying to buy a property down in Cicero, and it's a storefront on floor one and apartments upstairs. Can't do it. Um, so that's, so you can finance through these, these, uh, this program, FHA, government guarantee backed loans is a one unit through a four unit condos, townhouses, PUDs, things like that. Um, if you have questions in regards to, can you do your particular house? It's manufactured, modular, things like that. Please give me a call or check out my website and I'd, I'll, I'll dig into those, those guidelines for you. I, on the top of my head, I, I truly don't know it because I think I've might've done one of those in the 30 years that I've been doing mortgages. Um, so that's that part of things. So you might say, well, I'm looking to buy a four unit property. It, it doesn't qualify for FHA. Yes, it does. And it's still three and a half percent down payment. You can use the, uh, you need an FHA loan. Let me retract for a second. FHA and VA loans require that that property must be your primary home or going to be your primary home. Okay. So that's the big caveat behind all of this. So we went over credit scores, we went over loan to values, we went over your debt ratios, we went over your income, and we went over what type of properties qualify, okay? So now, how do you, can you refinance an FHA loan? Absolutely. And it's really simple. We don't pull your credit. We don't um, analyze your income. We don't do an appraisal. What we do is we pull a credit report that only gives us your mortgage only report. If you've made your last 12 payments on time, you should qualify for a FHA, an FHA refinance. It has to make sense though. Um, so you, there has to be a net, what we call a net tangible benefit, meaning it has to benefit you some way, somehow shortening your term or reducing your payments. Pretty, pretty good. I'm going to recap real quick. VA. VA program. You know what? Let let me let me pick up on the VA tomorrow, because uh, VA. I'd like to go into that. There's a lot of veterans in the state of Illinois, and uh, I think you you might be surprised on who can or who doesn't qualify for this program. But there's a lot of people out there that probably do. So I want to touch base on credit scores. 
and a credit system that I hope you, you will use. The system is called creditscoresandmore.com. There's multiple steps on this website. What I want you to do is if you don't do anything, please go to that website and complete step one. Step one is a free credit scoring system. There's more to the equation than just getting that free credit score. It's a monitoring system. It's an alert system. It's an identity theft system. It does a lot of things, and it's, it's really educational. What it'll do is it'll analyze your credit scores, and it'll also give you, here is the, your best options for credit cards, car loans. I'll say mortgages, but I'm your best option for mortgages. It'll give you information for all that. So I want to thank you all for listening. Please don't forget to come back tomorrow. We're going to talk about VA loans and then much, much more. Um, you can reach me at 1160mortgage.com. Please give me a call if you have any questions at all. It's 630-338-1160. Please also check out creditscoresandmore.com. I'd love to help in any way I can. So thank you so much again for listening. Please come back tomorrow. God bless. Take care. Have a great evening. You've been listening to The Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. 